Hello, this is Thomas from Amberian Dawn, and you are listening to Metal Holic Magazine and Metal Money. Greetings from India, Thomas. How are you doing? Doing just fine, thanks. How are you? I'm doing good. What can I say? Magic Forest. This album is so gigantic, so enormous. Okay, thanks. The journey, you know, Ambed and Dawn has been having because you've been there right from the beginning. And when I listen to this album, I kind of feel that a lot of your dreams, a lot of your desires were fulfilled on this album by Capri. So what do you have to say about that? Uh, yes, I've been... Uh... Uh, aboard ab- since beginning, beginning, and I, I started the whole band mm-hmm. in, in 2006 or seven, I think. Okay. And I've been the composer for all the time, and uh, because I've had a different singer at the beginning, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Heidi has so different way of singing. And so it's been re- refreshing to do something new. That's right. Uh, I don't mean that it's uh, better or anything. I just say it's different, and it's always uh, fun for composer to have uh, some new musicians or vocalists on board. Absolutely. So it's different and really amusing. That's wonderful because this new style is very is fresh and it's natural i mean it's not it doesn't sound forced it it has come natural from all you you know members of the band so that really gave me a, you know a good feeling about this album yes i feel the same and um, since the beginning the cooperation with me and capri has been just perfect and we we are the same kind of persons uh-huh. we we like the same kind of stuff same kind of music and we have even same kind of humor you know right so we are we are it's very easy for us to work together and it feels so easy and natural that's wonderful and while listening to the album capri's vocals are both beautiful as well as chilling throughout the album and in these you know there are some also some strong instrumentals you know with a lot of guitar and keyboard solos so in terms of writing this time uh, what was the procedure or what were you guys planning to do um, uh, it's always the same uh, with the process, uh, so everything starts at my home studio. Uh-huh. I, I always, when I'm composing music, I always make some kind of demo of the song right away. So I use mm-hmm. uh, computer-based drums, et, right. et cetera. Uh-huh. Then I play guitars and keyboards, bass lines, and I also do the vocal lines. Uh, using guitar or keyboards, so the whole song is quite ready. Right. When when after this this uh, first pre pre production phase, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. with this new album, for the first time, I had a real team of uh, producers, uh, because earlier I have just uh, produced by myself, but this time, I had this Mikko Mustonen guy. Right. Uh, um, Helping me, helping me with producing, and also Capri took part in. Mm-hmm. So we have, we had a team working together, and this was the first time using a real team. So it it was also new for me. Right. That, that that's great because there's a song called "I'm Still Here" in this album, which I feel is a perfect song that shows what Embarian Dawn can do. I mean, in terms of the, the musicianship and that song exactly reflects what you guys do best. Yes, um, I'm, I've been always lucky to uh, that I, I have had the most skillful players mm-hmm. possible. Mm-hmm. And we have always had great guitar players and drummer and and that's why I have never had any kind of limitations Right. This, because I know that these guys can play everything, and uh, you know, I don't, I don't have any boundaries. I mean, I mean uh, th- those guys can play a- anything I want them to play. Right. Great, because 
Now, when I listen to the album, uh, it's more keyboard driven. I mean, and also the vocals are has more of that, you know, that 70s and the 80s vibe. So was that a conscious decision or it came naturally? Um, uh, both, because I always uh, write music based on the feelings I'm having. And usually I don't have any certain goals on my mm -hmm. mind when I start doing something. Uh, this time, uh, maybe, I had, maybe I had something some more goal, um, some more specific goal in my mind because the, I wanted to utilize Capri's sound to okay. the fullest and um, I just felt that this more keyboard driven, even even pop metal kind of music right. felt natural at right. the moment and I hope that our fans are going to like the new sound uh, they have used to strong and heavy guitar riffs right on the bottom and now the guitars are not so in important role anymore mm -hmm. i understand that because there's a good amount of complexity also when it comes to arrangements and 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 the production makes it even better it's actually uh, to keep it this way the production is on another level you know on this album everything is crystal clear and one definitely feels the atmosphere present in the album Yes, um, we have new a new uh, mixing engineer, this Mikko Mustonen, mm -hmm. who has been who has mixed the album. He's just a great guy, and he was part of the producer team, and we did everything together. Uh -huh. uh, me, Capri, and Mikko, we um, mm, talked together about every song and we polished the vocal, vocal lines together okay. and mm -hmm. we did all the final arrangements together so maybe that's why the sound is also a little bit different um, right i understand that now i was surprised to be honest because uh, when you guys put that indiegogo campaign and you were not able to meet the target i was really surprised but then you got signed to Napalm Records and it kind of felt that somehow, some way, things were already written uh, for Ambarian Dawn. Would you agree with that? Yes, um, the India Coco project was, was a challenging uh, and we didn't get all the funds we needed, but uh, yeah. anyway, we got enough to get the, the things started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after we got signed to Napalm Records, it was uh, just an uh, amazing thing um, because I I've always liked Napalm Records and I, I know they are really hardworking guys there and it's right. a really great uh, label. What definitely is. They have a good amount of bands with you know, under them and now with Ambarian Dawn it makes it even better. So what are the upcoming plans for the tours? I mean, are there any fixed uh, schedules ahead or you know, it's going on currently? Uh, right now we are just taking some breaths um, after uh, hard working. Huh. Uh, uh, yeah, but we are planning to do a couple of shows here in Finland next fall. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe in Helsinki and uh, in some other town. Mm, but for the next year we have been talking with our booking agency, uh, and they are. They are uh, planning to organize two major tours Wonderful. for the beginning of next year and it's possible that we might be on some of those tours. It's not certain yet, but we are negotiating about the uh, possibility to. So we, we might have some touring in the beginning of next year. Right, I understand that and that brings me to the question. Uh, I don't know whether you are aware of the fan following you have here in India. So, I don't know, some way, somehow down the line, I just hope you guys come over here and play in front of your fans because it will definitely be an honor. Yes, we just, we just love to tour everywhere and so far we just have been touring in Europe and right. it's always uh, about always about uh, promoters too so if you have some promoters there who would like uh, who would like us to play there mm -hmm. 
those promoters can be in contact with our booking agency and that's how the things will absolutely will work yeah. out i understand that and one yeah. thing about you which i always appreciated and felt that the way you do things i mean you are a fairly strong minded person and you always follow your artistic vision regardless of what other people a lot of personal touch and there are a lot of uh, you know experience which you have gained over the years so how how do you feel has your journey been from past you know one decade yeah uh, from the beginning i have had a total musical freedom and it's been uh, the right way to do it because i don't have any uh, then nobody tells me what i must do or True. what i mustn't do True. so I've been free to do everything I just loved to do. And during the years, I've got uh, a lot of feedback, uh, positive and also negative feedback, but I've kind, kind to use to the fact that you can never please everyone. So absolutely, uh, if you have a thousand people saying it is great, you have at least hundred people saying it is shit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> right. So, so you, you just have to uh, be self-confident and believe in your own music and that's the only way to go I think absolutely I understand that and and once you release you know an album uh, you come across various situations I mean you meet people you meet fans and they express their opinions on the album you know do you really care about what others think about the music or or it's just your own self-confidence about the album and you do that um, if I am, um, it all starts with my own desires about making music, and I just want to uh, please myself with the music first. And mm -hmm. when I'm happy with the results, then I just want to hope that everyone else is also going to like it. Right. Um, I can't deny that, of course, I would like uh, many people to like my music. True. Uh, and and. Music is something which needs to be shared Absolutely. with other people. And uh, I always felt the most important thing for me is uh, to be able to play live in the front of the audience. That's the most amazing thing. Absolutely. Play live. I agree with that. Now, if I have to end this interview on a simple question for you is to define magic forest in just one sentence. Mm. Uh, album is uh, a melodic metal which has strong influences uh, from uh, 80s and 90s keyboard driven music. Wonderful, Thomas. Thank you so much for sparing some time with us on Metalholic as well as Metal Money. Thanks again. Thanks.